Well, hello there, gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by to Gentleman's Carry. For all those of you who don't know, my name is Junior. So, if you've seen my uh, other videos, you've probably noticed that I do have lanyards there on most of my uh, folders that I carry. Now, you'll find that some manufacturers will automatically put them on, but not many do. Uh, say, for instance, a Chris Reeves will most likely put them on all of his folders now. Uh, the Sebenza and so forth. And uh, the, I believe the knot that he has, I don't have that one at hand here, is a, a snake knot. So this here is the, the knot I always usually put on. It's the uh, the one I've known come to know. And uh, I become more of a, a one-trick pony here with the uh, snake lanyard knot here. So that's what the final product would look like with a the paracord there. So that's a, a brown paracord here. This is what I have here. It's our standard 550 there. So what they... This designation on the 550 is the tensile strength there of the uh, of the paracord itself. So I mean, generally, I most like uh, most likely you'll only see them with the paracord there if you were to purchase them. But in my mind, why buy a lanyard even for five? I've seen them ridiculous yeah, prices online if you wanted to add a paracord there. So if you have extra paracord laying around, uh, in this case here, a leather a leather cord, a lace, any kind of material that you can get through the lanyard here just go ahead and add it on yourself that if you know the knot you can just add a lanyard I don't I've never purchased a, a full-on lanyard before although I have purchased these here little beads here these little lanyard beads this one here being a little titanium bead just to dress it up there uh, so I have a few of these so I'll occasionally put them on there uh, the powder two I don't have one on currently there just have the uh, powder code so I'm going to actually experiment here and use a leather cord. This here is a three millimeter leather cord, natural, no, no dye on this here. So I just had this extra laying around. So I figured, let me try this here material instead of the powder two, which I generally use there on the knives here. So I'm gonna try this here powder cord. Now, when you're starting off with any particular material, the length I would start with uh, would be at least I'd give yourself 24 inches there. I'd start with 24 inches of whatever particular material just to give yourself enough leeway there to give you, you know, at least uh, three to I'd say five inches there to play with on a lanyard, depending on what how, uh, how much you want there to play with. If you're putting a lanyard bead on, or if you just want it longer or shorter or what have you, so you could just go and cut it off. So I'd say more is uh, better than less in a situation like this here. Because sometimes you, you get down to the knot and you can't get the final the final uh, knot on there uh, to tie it off. So so I would start off with at least 24 inches of whatever particular material that you uh, choose. So I'll put this off to the side here. That's the uh, powder two there. So I'm going to put this on the hinder. And usually when I go and I change or clean out a, a particular knife, I usually will change out the lanyard. Because over the over time, you know, if, you, if you're talking a year or so there of use, you see how the fabric or the leather, whatever particular material that you decide to choose there, it gets funky. It's not uh, any titanium or steel there you can easily clean off and, and maintain. Uh, so I just go and put another one on. If I have an extra piece of uh, something laying around, I just go on and change it out. And I, what I do uh, too is if you if you are putting a lanyard bead on or something like this, uh, they make these here in titanium or stainless steel or brass, all kinds of stuff. I've used all kinds of stuff to get a little creative. Uh, so I just make sure that the uh, the two ends of whatever particular material that you are choosing actually fits through this here because I've done that. I've done the knot and then I go on to put these uh, put this here through and it doesn't fit there. So this here is a little tight, but I think I can make it work there. We'll make it work. So let's start here. As you as you noticed here, uh, I put a uh, green mark on the end of one side so you can follow along to do a simple snake knot lanyard. If you don't know how to how to do that, I will go ahead and, and show you here. So let's get that through there. So I have the green mark here on my left here. Now this here. Working with paracord is probably going to be the most easiest because it's a softer, more malleable material. This here is leather, so it's, it's, you could tell it's stiffer. 
so it's going to be a little bit harder for me to uh, to not so bear with me here as I haven't done this here uh, before so we're going to start here you can follow green all along here I'll do make sure that the ends do match there uh, so you have enough material on both sides there so we'll go follow green around here go underneath here Now what I generally like to do too is get this as close as possible to the knife itself there, to the lanyard hole. Make this as tight as possible because you don't want this here loosening up on you or you know the material will stretch out over time and then it will come back around. You don't want that locking there on your uh, opening device there. That can be very embarrassing there if you go ahead and lock yourself in. So I, I'd like to get that tight otherwise if this here is dangling out It'll lock you out, bladed. So don't do that. So I, I get it nice and tight there to the uh, to the knife itself. And as I said, this here is quite stiff, so it's a little bit harder there to work with. But I'm I'm making do here. So I'll follow green along here. already starting to take form. Second knot there. That's turning out better than I thought it would. Huh? Some leather la uh, lanyard cord or leather cord here. Three millimeters. I think I need more than this. It'd be a, it'd be a harder uh, knot there to, to tie with a thicker cord. So I probably would suggest there As you can see, it's a little, it's a little tougher there. So we're going to go underneath here, underneath of that. Just keep in mind as well if you um, some of the tools you'll need in handy is obviously some scissors there uh, and uh, a flame there to seal the edges off if you're doing paracord for the strands inside so you're gonna have to seal the edges off of that if you're doing paracord other this here I just need a pair of scissors or a knife <clears throat> to uh, cut the edges off there so I'm gonna go ahead and put my lanyard in here my lanyard bead I should say the edge here. Get it nice and tight down to the edge there. So what I like to do too is uh, to if you are going to head, go ahead and put on a lanyard bead on here. Make sure obviously it fits on when you first uh, start doing this. You, you don't want to get to that and not be able to fit it on. But you can triangulate the edges here on both sides to try to get it through and then try to pull it through. Uh, is also, I like to do two knots on the end here instead of versus just one. Because I've had actually with paracord, uh, as an example, just doing one knot there on the end of a, a, a bead and it actually fell off. So over time the knot can come loose. So doing that two knots there at the end helps uh, secure it and I have never had uh, anything fall off there. So just uh, FYI. So there's green again here.
So this is 24 inches here of this here particular material. So as you can see, it's when you start to get down to it, it becomes a little bit trickier as you have less material to work with here. And this here is quite stiff. Most likely it would be easier to use a leather lace if you're using leather, but I think the cord perhaps would be better for overall usability uh, wear, wearing over time. As I just here cleaned this here Hindera XM18 out recently and changed out the bearings to the uh, bronze there, which is fantastic there. Really has worked out well. I really like it on the uh, the bronze washers. So there you go. I don't think that's about uh, as far as I'm going to go there with the lanyard. So I'll just have a these two sticking out here. So I'll just go ahead and cut these here off. The edges off. I may shorten that up a bit there. But uh, there you go. So that's a simple lanyard there. So that's leather. And then this here is the paracord as an example there. So I'll go ahead and shorten these up a bit more. So that gives you uh, different options out there. And obviously if you have uh, extra you know, cord or whatever, uh, lace, leather, uh, fabric, paracord, why not uh, do it yourself there uh, with a simple snake nut there. Dresses the overall knife up and as I said on the smaller knives there, Gives you a functional uh, uh, functionality there for your last couple fingers you had to grab onto here, as you've seen probably on my other previous videos. So that gives you um, a little uh, run through there of a, a lanyard. Oh, there's one more thing, gentlemen. If you haven't already, please subscribe as it helps the channel grow. And also be sure to smash that there like button down there. Smash it nice and hard as it tells YouTube you like this here gentleman's work. Thanks for watching, Junior.